Here we have just a totally outstanding story stone from Egypt. And it's made out of meteorite, nickel iron meteorite. It's heavy, it's about 433 grams. It's uh, a baby mammoth, and what a great, terrific baby mammoth. Oh, what an image it is. It's just an outstanding carving here. This is an outstanding carving. Uh, we've got the eye of the mammoth here. We have its baby trunk here, and we have its tuft of hair up above. Now, you notice the edges are rolled over and smooth. The geologists call that rollover melt, or melt and rollover. It isn't. It's not. It's made by man. Uh, the edges have all been sculpted by uh, Paleo Man, so it looks like it might be melted or rolled over, but not really. It's It's been sculpted all the way around the edges. What an outstanding mammoth uh, effigy that is. Then we have a face here. We have a, a, a face uh, oh, kind of like this way, but not real prominent on the face. When we turn it over, though, this mammoth image is really unbelievable. As you can see, the ancient workmanship, the paleo workmanship on this piece, they've scratched it and grooved it to make the hair, to make the hair of the baby mammoth. So here we have the baby mammoth eye, we have the trunk coming off to the right, and we have the hair tuft. So the eye here, the, the, uh, the trunk, the baby trunk, the hair tuft, and all those grooves, those grooves made 13,000 years ago, paleo times, they were made for the hair of the baby mammoth. Unbelievable workmanship on a nickel iron meteorite that hails from Egypt. One of the finest story stones that I have acquired so far in my collection. Just an outstanding piece.